the Travel Everest and welcome to Godari! our apartment in New Godari. On the left side we have a bathroom. There's a really nice shower, toilet, a washing machine. Here on the right side we have a nice wardrobe, plenty of storage space and when you walk in you have everything in one room. We even have a desk to do some work if we wanted to. We have a little kitchen, microwave, nice little sofa, bed, TV. And this place is actually quite new and modern. We are the first ones to stay here in this apartment for this season. They literally had to come in and turn the water on for us. So yeah, it's a really nice apartment, really cozy, really, really hot. The radiators are cranked up to the max, seriously. Um, and we've only paid 150 pounds for four nights. So in our opinion, it's a bargain because we're only five minutes away from the slopes. So this is the view from our apartment. As you can see, we're able to see the slopes, the gondola, the mountains, such beautiful views. We're in such a good location. Everything is on our doorstep. We've traveled two hours from Georgia's capital, Tbilisi, via Marshrutka, aka a minivan. It is definitely the cheapest option. When you get to Godauri, you'll have many areas to choose from. We opted for an area called New Godauri due to its skiing and ski out options. It is called New for a reason, with so many new apartments and amenities being built every single year. It literally has everything on its doorstep with a multitude of shops and restaurants. Grab a quick mulled wine or try some traditional Georgian food. There's even local supermarkets with access to some ATMs. In terms of Apri Ski, there are a few bars to choose from. We highly recommend a bar called Drang Cherry. Seriously, the clue is in the name. With its quirky interior design, friendly staff and cheap drinks, you'll have a night to remember after a day of skiing. And here is a map of Godauri Resort. As you can see, there are different slopes suitable for different skiing abilities. We were a little worried of coming to Godari with not owning a single piece of equipment, not even trousers or jackets. But to our surprise, we managed to rent it all out with no problems. So let's start our ski journey here. How do you know? You can tell by the, by the height. By the height, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, like a 90 degrees. Ah, good to know. Measuring our skis. Hey guys, we're almost ready. We got our gear on. Someone's helping Misha here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, trying to get into my ski boots. It's hard, isn't it? Look. Whoa. Thanks. You're welcome. What's your name again? Kurami. Nice to meet you, Kurami. <laughs> this is a very nice ski rental store. They have everything here. They have the skis, the boots. They even have some wine. <laughs> you can even buy stuff here. So for example, if you wanted to buy some goggles, 200 lari, 150 lari. You can buy some hats, gloves. Ah, Churkchela. Churkchela, you can buy Churkchela. So guys, have you watched the movie called House of Gucci? I feel like right now, I'm like Patrizia Reggiani <laughs> from the 80s. Woo! <laughs> Written Mary into Merry Christmas. <laughs> yes, Merry Christmas, guys. Okay. Cheers. Cool. I said it's not strong, but it has a little bit of a kick. Ready? Ready! <laughs> <laughs> so excited! I'm 28 years old and this is my first time skiing! <laughs> <laughs> 
first time for everything, though, Justina. First time for everything. Oh, look at those fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't been skiing since I was 17 years old. So we're talking now 16 years. Absolutely unbelievable, me saying that. But uh, yeah, can't wait to see if I've still got some of that skiing knowledge inside me or if I'm going to be a complete mess. I'm guessing it's the latter. So cool. I think we're in the base of the slopes. There's some lessons going on here from what I can see. Really cool. <laughs> Drunk cherry is our new favorite. <laughs> There we go, there's some ski lessons going on here. There's Christmas tree and so much snow guys. So much snow. Wow, there's even paragliding happening here. Woo! Wow. Oh, amazing. Look how busy it is. Love it. Hello. Oh, hello. My name is Bogdan. 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 Yeah. Bogdan. Nice to meet you. Hello. Thank you. I'm from Ukraine. 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 Lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'm from uh, Litva. Litva. And yes. I'm from England. England. Nice. And what is your name? Uh, Justina. Justina. And Misha. Misha. Misha, Russian or name. Misha. No, Misha. Misha? Yeah, like Russian name. Like Russian yes, name. Yes, yes. But I'm not Russian, I'm English. <laughs> nice. uh, so, are you a beginner? I am um, a complete beginner. I, I learned how to ski Thank 16 Thank you, bye bye. Thank you so much. 16 years ago. So, I need oh, a lot um, of lessons. Memory. Refresh. Yeah. <laughs> Go to Cena. Yeah. Relax. Way. Oh shit. That's it, that's it. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow guys, not gonna lie, this is quite difficult. It is fun but it's also very difficult. I proper, proper fell down. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Like I've lost all my power, my brain didn't work. But you know what, as for the first time, I'm really, really enjoying it. And actually there aren't that many people here. I thought it's gonna be really, really busy, but it's not too bad. Uh, there's definitely enough space for, for us to like actually go down. Uh, obviously the annoying part is going up the hill because you have to like literally use your body and your legs every time you go down you have to go up so it's a little bit inconvenient but overall it's actually really good everyone's having a good time but for now let's see if Misha can do hers let's go wow Misha you go girl she's doing it she's doing it Woo! you're so good at turning oh Jealous! She's so good! And obviously the instructor! Yay! You guys are so good! I told you, you are the dream team! <laughs> oh, definitely high five! Well done, guys! <laughs> Maybe tomorrow we'll go on a ski lift. We'll try something different. Are you nervous about the ski lift? Of course I am, because I feel like I'm still not very good. And that's why me and Misha are thinking about to take a second lesson for tomorrow. Up the mountain. Up the mountain. I feel like I need another lesson to feel more confident, more safe. Um, it's really funny because sometimes when I'm all the way at the top, I'm like always going down. I still don't know how to like balance, balance myself. Yes. Yeah, so still need to master it's that. It's like but Bambi on ice. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Or like, like in Lithuania, we say a cow, cow on ice. Cow on ice. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Excited. Yes, very yeah. excited. I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie. I'm terrified. <laughs> yeah. Here's our instructor. <laughs> 
everyone's feeling positive today. Yeah, yes. it's Christmas Day today. Christmas Day, yeah, the yeah. 25th of December. Crazy. Yeah. Such a good cool. Christmas, right? Yes, the best. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys, and in case you're curious about the prices, let me tell you, the ski pass is only £15 per person for one day. So that's pretty affordable. And if you want to rent your ski equipment and have your helmet, your goggles, your trousers, your jackets, that's just over £20 per person per day. So yeah, all in all, it's just under £40 per person for one day, including everything. Me and Misha think that's really affordable. We've heard that the prices like in Austria and Italy are super crazy. So if you're looking for more affordable ski resort, come to Godari here in Georgia. Yeah. Is everyone excited? So excited. So excited. Wow. Woo. So cool. Can't believe. We're on a, what do you call this? Ski chairlift? Chairlift. Chairlift. We're on a chairlift. <laughs> We're ending our year on a high, yes? Yes. Yes. Because on a that's, high, literally. On a high, yeah. yes. Because that's what we need after this horrible year, guys, to end the year on the high. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's <Exactly>. do this. <laughs> Enjoying yourself? Yes, I think we went down the slope three times or two times? Twice. Twice. Okay, yeah. So yeah, twice. Twice? Well, yeah. It, felt, it felt more for some reason. So um, now we're going to go for one last time because the ski lifts are about to close. They're open from 10 in the morning and they close at 4. So yeah, tomorrow we're going to come here at 10. Full day tomorrow. Full day tomorrow. But yes. how are you feeling on your second day? I and think sometimes I'm like overthinking like, how should I put my legs? How should I not <laughs> put my legs? But I think eventually it will all become very natural. Yeah. And I won't be thinking about it. Like the instructor said, just like sing a song. Don't look down, sing yeah. a song. And what song were you singing? That's a Lithuanian kid song. <laughs> and it worked, it, it worked, worked, right? A little bit, yeah. Here we go, guys, at the top of the mountain here. Absolutely beautiful up here. The chairlifts are above my head. The mountains, wow, honestly, this is absolutely stunning. Why haven't I done this? since 16 years ago look at this this is addictive so justina's doing her oh, little exercises okay. <laughs> before we hit the slopes this yeah. morning I'm not gonna lie after two days of skiing my body is a bit sore yeah especially around my shoulder area yeah my shins and my calves it's yeah. a full body workout a skiing full body workout. hopefully i'll be Five kilograms skinnier by the end of this trip. <laughs> I don't know, we had like six kinkali, had chapuri bread. Lots of beer. Oh, so forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But are you feeling very confident, day three, with I no instructor? Say very confident, but confident enough. Okay, yes. all right, let's hit the slopes, let's baby. Let's do this. <laughs>
stopped off for some mulled wine mm-hmm. and I can confidently say <laughs> that we are now very drunk. <laughs> it was so st- she finished hers, I, I couldn't. No. I was like, whoa, it's really gone into so my head. So strong. Yeah. But we are in Georgia. Mm-hmm. We had to do wine. Yeah. Even on the top of this mountain. Yeah. So now we're on the chairlift, yeah. feeling very tipsy, very merry. Mm. And we're going to attempt to go down a little bit drunk. So this can go one of two ways. Hmm. It could be very confident. We could be like, yeah, we can do anything. Yeah. Or we could be falling down on our ass. Which one is it going to be, guys? What do you think? I think it's the falling down. <laughs> we'll let you know after we reach the base. We'll let you know. <laughs> Did you see? I thought I'm going to die. Did you see how fast? Challenging, yes. Yeah, blue, blue's challenging. Blue is challenging, yeah. So we're gonna go all the way down to the very bottom of the slope. Yeah, yes. yeah. So this is the longest ski run we've done. Wow, how so long far. is it gonna take us? Like, I don't know. Minutes? It depends how fast you wanna go. I'm still very, very slow. I think you need a mulled wine, another one, maybe a <laughs> shot of tequila. <laughs> there we go, Justine. You got this. Just focus on the view. Okay. Look at that view. Amazing. Yeah, look at the scenery, guys. It's stunning. Justina, bomb it down to the bottom. <laughs> wow. Stunning. Well done, nice and slowly. Thank you. Snowplow, snowplow. <laughs> so I'm just at the bottom of the mountain and all I can see is Justina falling down. <laughs> every couple of minutes this last time her ski was right in the air she's now getting up honestly I keep laughing to myself bless her so we went on the blue slope uh, for the first time because we had a bit of confidence on the green and I was like yeah we're ready we know everything and trust me guys Justina has fallen down about 10 times I feel so bad but at the same time, God, it's funny for me. I can see her now trying to come down. She's just got up now. Let's see how long she lasts. You know when your body is just that tired and you lose all control of your muscles and stuff? That's her right now, I think. We'll have to call it a day. Because, uh, yeah, the basics have gone out the window. She's just so tired. And even my legs, my shins are so sore. How do you feel? Tired. Tired. Really, really tired. How many times have you fallen down in the last 10 minutes? About 10. Yeah? Yeah. You're, you're knackered, right? I'm knackered. I can't feel my <laughs> shins. They're numb. Right. I feel like I need shin replacement after this. <laughs> well, you know what? I mean, I was going to say, we're not far away, but... Oh, I look so far away. <laughs> yeah, but you can do this. I can't. Get your bum off that snow and different. let's go. Oh. Come on. Lithuanians are strong, yeah? Come on. Let's show everyone at home how you can ski now. Left? You can do this, okay? Ready? Let's go. Hold your body straight. There we go. Confidence. All right. And then boah. Well... <laughs> it's the face for me. That's it. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. This was such a new experience to me. Misha's done skiing before, but how yeah. did you enjoy the second time? It's just amazing. It it's is, so surreal it? to be in this landscape. Yeah. Honestly, it's just breathtaking. Yeah. And the adrenaline that you feel is just like so addictive. We yeah. just want to keep going up and down, yeah. up and down all day. It's just magical. It is, but unfortunately it's four o'clock now, which means the ski lifts are about to close, so we have to head back grab some dinner so yeah. we're gonna end it here guys if you did enjoy this video make sure you like it subscribe to our channel and as always cheers, cheers to freedom, freedom. Woo!